The European Central Bank is boosting its support for economies devastated by the impact of the coronavirus. The ECB is increasing its bond buying programme by 600 billion euros. Here in France, the government is also set to beef up support for industry, including special funds for the country's technology sector. For more, Catherine Bennett from our business desk joins us now. Catherine, tell us a bit more about how this funding will work. Well, the French government is earmarking 1.2 billion euros just for the tech sector alone. Now, the most important part of that budget is the creation of an investment fund, and that's designed to protect French startups from being bought by foreign companies. Now, the fund initially will be 150 million euros, but the finance ministry is making available 500 million euros if necessary. And the main sectors that uh, this general tech fund will support um, are health, science, cybersecurity and artificial intelligence. Now, the economy minister, Bruno Le Maire, said that, has said that tech, the tech sector in France is crucial to the economic recovery of the country. So they really do want to be pushing money into that sector. And so this is generous, but it's also not a surprising move from the French government. Emmanuel Macron, who was the economy minister himself before becoming president, has always made an aim uh, during his mandate to support the tech sector and protect it from foreign competition. So previously, France, of course, has become known for riling the US because it imposed a GAFA tax, that's a digital tax, on the US's main uh, tech companies, that's Google, Amazon, Facebook, and Apple. And so it's likely that this move will also rile the US a little bit. Um, this investment fund is, of course, in the same vein as that tax. The idea is that they want to reduce the dominance of foreign tech companies, particularly from the US and China. And they're trying to really foster homegrown tech talent with this. And Catherine, as uh, governments around the world uh, start to ease those strict lockdown measures, there are hopes, aren't there, of a revival for the tourism industry. What are the airlines saying at this point? Well, obviously, that's good news for the airlines. Airlines across the world are restarting many of their flight routes. Um, and we're seeing positivity in, in the markets because of that. Just this morning in trading in Asia, shares of Japan Airlines and Chinese Southern Airlines both surged over 9.5% in this morning's trading. And over in the EU, it's a similar thing. Um, EU countries, of course, are keen for tourism to restart and for their tourism destinations to be available for people to come and visit through those airlines. The EU Commissioner for Home Affairs agrees. Uh, she said this week that she wants countries in the Eurozone to reopen their internal borders in order to boost the economy with that travel between borders. Um, and she wants that to happen by the end of the month. Um, so we're seeing European airlines reacting to that as well. For instance, Ryanair um, is planning on opening 40% of its flights on almost all of its routes by July. EasyJet is similar. They want to get up to 75% of their flights by August. And in America, if we cross the pond, we're seeing a similar pattern there, this general optimism in the markets as well. Uh, American Airlines and United Airlines yesterday announced that they would put on more flights ahead of the summer season directly directed towards hot tourist hotspots hot in the US. And that, of course, sent their stocks surging on Wall Street yesterday as well. Um, so, of course, we're seeing the similar pattern of a surge in domestic demand. Um, and they're hoping also that they'll be able to restore their international services as well. And we should see that increasing over the summer. All right, Catherine, thank you very much indeed. Catherine Bennett there. And that's it from the newsroom this hour. Do stay with us. We'll have another update for you shortly.